So this is the road that we decided to travel. We're out somewhere in Lewis County, hopefully somewhere in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. And this is the size of the, wait, wait, I think there's a homeless man over there and a pile of garbage. Let's go find out. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a pile of garbage. You don't usually see those in the National Forest campgrounds. Rudimentary fire pit. And two walking sticks. Yeah, it looks like this fire is just about burned out. I think there's a person in there. But I'm not sure. Flip-flops. Flip-flops? Yeah, those are typical wear of... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. What? Oh, he's speaking common Lewis County gibberish. <laughs> what? I, let me let me translate. I think he said, "You're in my living room." <laughs> what was that about the kitchen? Oh, he said somebody threw diapers in the kitchen. Just just a second. Let's go find the kitchen. You always want to cook away from where you sleep. So I think this was the kitchen over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yep, there it is, a dirty diaper. Yep, that's ridiculous. So this is the first campsite that we came to. But if you go a little further, and you have a jeep, or a bridge, and trust me folks, this is much steeper than it looks. This is quad territory, or jeep. But basically you go through this gully washer here, and Come up the other side. Whoa. And you've got a nice open camp area with good cover. Watch your step on the log. Somebody's already put up a fire pit. Chopping block. And it's relatively clean down here. We took the first campsite because we couldn't get in here and we didn't want to, we wanted to sleep in the vehicle. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not familiar with this territory, but you get out here, here's the river or the creek. Honestly, I don't know where we're at. <laughs> I'll try to draw a map later and figure it out. There's a bridge. We have seen approximately six vehicles since we've been here. Uh, that's not too bad. Usually we go into like the uh, campground areas uh, in Gifford Pinshaw National Forest. You can't find a site. People are loud and rude. We only had one group that came by today that was a little bit noisy. But uh, that's okay, you know. Everybody's got to get out and enjoy nature. Some just, just do it differently. But yeah, I, I think this could be the uh, North Fork of the Tilton River. It might also be one of the tributary 
uh, creeks. But uh, like I say, I am not familiar with the with the area. I just know what, know my way back to the highway. Last time I came up into this area, uh, I actually drove in from Scale Shack, went up over the hill, and traveled the back way. And we actually uh, ended up coming out on the road that we drove in here on. But being that uh, I knew it was closer to get to the river than I wanted to get to, we, we went ahead and went backwards this time. But I I don't know. I think we might have got uh, off track or something like that because I don't think this is the same place where uh, we came out. There's several different uh, spur roads and things like that. So, But we drove up in here, found this, and we stayed overnight last night. It was pretty cool. Anyway, not very happy about the garbage. That's pretty rude. You think people would train their kids better? Anyway, oh, back up to the campsite. So yeah, this is Saturday afternoon. I think we're probably going to go ahead and break camp and go home, get some food, take a shower. We'll kill the fire before we leave, make sure it's dead out. And that's what we got in here with. Oh yeah. Well, I'll walk up the road. Yeah, the homeless guy there said, said to show you the road. I actually understood that. <laughs> anyway. All right. So the road isn't too bad getting in here. <clears throat> I got to be take it kind of easy because I got a weak heart right now. But we go up the road here. In the I don't think I'd want to try it when it's when it's raining. It might be a little bit more difficult. The worst part of the road, and it looks like some people have managed to do a drive around. We came right through this thing. The worst part of the road is right here. And uh, I think going out is actually going to be easier than coming in. Because uh, coming in I had to kind of avoid these rocks. I've don't have the high clearance with the uh, Mountaineer but it did push right through so that wasn't too bad and then the rest of it's pretty much like this but where it comes off the main road there's a little bit of a dip so if you got a low profile vehicle or you're not driving a Jeep or something you're probably better off uh, going up to the bridge and coming back so that you can turn to the left to get down this road because <clears throat> otherwise uh, it's quite a drop when you go to turn right from the main road oh yeah but anyway you get up here there's one good dip right there that's not too bad don't even really feel that stuff so we get up here, and, okay, so yeah, there's a little bit of a washout right here, so what I did is uh, I drove up to the bridge, we took a look at the campsite, walked down into it from there, there's a little trail, or you can park up by the road if you want to walk in. Uh, but then when we came back to drive in this road, because we, we tested it, we uh, actually walked this road before we drove in. But basically, that way takes you around the corner to the right. You'll find a bridge. And 
This way takes you back to the highway. But it's a nice drive. Relatively peaceful up here. Uh, I would recommend it. But uh, yeah, just, just be careful if you come out here.